Hi everyone! If you're new to my channel, I'm Irene and this is Milo, my 14-year-old Brussels Griffon. I've been traveling around for the last six years in my Dodge Ram Explorer 230 XLY Class B camper van. So I wanted to take a quick moment and wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I really do wish everybody the best as we go into 2023. I'm pretty hopeful no matter what goes on. I'm just going to uh, stay focused on the positive. That's what I've been really, really trying to do recently and especially kind of going into this new year. What have I learned from the past couple of years and what can I do differently going into 2023? And I have really wanted to find true inner peace. Uh, not peace in the world <laughs> or the, how the world sees peace, but really that true inner peace that I get from my faith in God, not in the circumstances. So I've been really looking deep and finding uh, new ways of going about that, praying, uh, meditating on uh, scriptures. I found a new pastor that I really, really love that really does concentrate on uh, you know, mind, body, and soul. You know, I've been on that kind of journey. When you keep all three in unity, uh, you just have a better outlook on life. You have a better, you know, body as well. Uh, you can let stress go because stress is so hard on the body. So we'll get into that this coming year because I have definitely developed quite a bit of techniques in the last couple of years on, um, you know, being very, very careful and mindful of hanging on to a lot of stressors. I'm not always good at it, but I'm better than where I used to be, that's for sure. And I notice every year I get better at it and I definitely have found a lot of healing in my body by doing that. As you know, I became ph pharmaceutical free for the last two years now, two and a half years, and I'm really excited on what um, 2023 is going to look at. So we're going to talk a, maybe a little bit about, more about that and also um, recently, I did have another flare-up with my cervical spine that I have not had in like 15 years. I have really had a long, a long good stretch with um, with my cervical spine of of really doing well. It's my lumbar and everything that I always struggle back and forth with. But I did allow a lot of stress to come in um, recently from some stuff that happened and we'll get into that maybe as next year comes along. And I realized between the physical move that challenged me getting here and some things that I went through before this move and then allowing that stressor, it was just a bunch of compound stuff that just really added up, you know, and I had to recognize what was uh, going on. Um, so we'll get into that coming up here. Just a lot of cool things that I want to go over. Um, my debt-free goal that I've been wanting to do. How am I doing there? Uh, just lots of things. It's an incident that happened with him. We're going to go over that. <laughs> Yeah, and also I'll share my photography coming up. So lots of lots of cool things, but I do have one other issue that I have been struggling with that I'll have to fix, but it may not be until the end of January or early February is I do have to order. I'm going to set him down because he gets a little fussy. Um, so I've been having trouble with um, one of my major equipment things that I use all the time. So right now you guys are on a tripod setup. 
Um, it works for now, but I'm really limited in how high I can put it, so I have to stand like in a certain place, you know, or, or it just won't be right. This is better for like longer distance of things, uh, because if I get too close, I can't raise it up. So that's an issue. So let me show you what my problem is. This is what I normally use. For years I just love this thing and you can open it up you can set it on a table this raises up and you can get it as high as you want it to go especially when on a table so I can get it more to eye you know eye length with me when I'm talking or doing things I can extend it out as a selfie stick uh, the problem is is that it's become wob wobbly so it doesn't uh, hold my camera anymore when I raise it up and I put it on a table. This part here has, I don't know, every one of them has a, like a wobble in it. So it doesn't hold the camera uh, still anymore. I get a new one of these coming up uh, when I get my next order in. Um, or possibly early February, but I'll work around this issue in the meantime. So we'll just see how things go, but that is, uh, yeah, a big problem right now. Uh, it's always something every single year, right? Always, but this is pretty good. I mean, it, it really did last a long, long time. I, I'm very thankful for the amount of time. And also recently, I had the cervical spine issue that like I said, that has come into play, but now that's almost better. Um, I was able to ride my e-bike again, so I have been extremely thankful to God for that. The best Christmas gift that I could have had was being able to ride my bike again. It's not 100% better in the shoulder part, but I had numbness in the hand. That's all better. And then, uh, you know, the pain in the cervical spine. It was getting so bad that I couldn't even sleep good for a while. So I'm really thankful that this did not turn worse because I've been through two really bad episodes with that in my life. So anyways, I recognized um, the problems. I've been doing exercises that really keep me strong. I have to keep those up for my whole cervical spine issues. If I don't, I can go down very quickly with my body. So I'm going to be focusing on that this coming year that I stay really, really strong. Anyway, so I hope you really have a nice Christmas, whether you're with people or even by yourself. I've always given this message because many, many times I have had to spend Christmas alone or I chose to do it. Uh, I have spent time with people. I know the holidays can definitely bring on uh, depression for some people if they've lost a, lo a family member or you know friends or relatives and things like that. There's a lot of reasons that it can be really sad. I know I went through a really sad time around the holidays back in, uh, uh, you know, I'm just not going to say the year, but many years ago when my ex-husband uh, was passing away um, with cancer at this particular uh, time in the year and then he did pass away um, between Christmas and New Year's. So that was a really tough time. So I know what it's like to go through grief through the holidays and also when it's been the best celebration you know as well. So my heart does go out to those people that could be going through a hard time at this time, uh, just listen to yourself. Do what you need to do. Don't let people talk you into doing anything that you are not ready to do at this time. Sometimes taking some time for yourself is a good thing, you know. Um, but just listen to your needs, what you need to do. But I promise you that if you are in any kind of grief at this time, it will pass. I'm living proof of it. You do get past it. It takes a little time, but hang on to hope. Never let go of hope. My hope has always been at 
also focusing on the true meaning of the season. The true meaning of the season to me has always been taking this time to recognize and celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, that he came into this world to give us hope. He came into this world to give us eternity with God, uh, to give us peace, his peace and hope walking through the difficulties and the ups and downs going through this world, okay? So I always hung on to that factor as well, even though I didn't understand or could accept for a while why my ex had to pass away. I just knew too deep in my heart and soul that, um, you know, I, I shouldn't be questioning what is happening you know god knows what's best and you know and sometimes it's just stuff that happens in life or we don't take care of our body um, there's just so many factors that can go on why bad things happen in this in this life and having that faith with god doesn't mean that you know our life is always going to be rosy because we believe in god in fact sometimes it's the opposite he doesn't promise us that life would be easy. He just promises us that he will walk with us through the difficulties in life, that he is, he is always with us. Whenever I go through a really difficult time in, in life, like that particular time, I always remembered the footprints in the sand. That has always been my favorite Christian, um, you know, little saying that they have out there. So I always envision that you know, footprints in the sand, that every time there was a difficulty in life, there was only one set of footprints. And then when life was going great, there was the two. But when life was hard, there was the one. And then he started asking, Lord, why is it every single time, you know, there's a difficult time, there's only one set of footprints? And, he, and Jesus answers back, because that is the time that I was lifting you up and I was carrying you through those difficult times. So when I went through that, that's what I kept focusing on is, you know, that's when God lifted me through and carried me through those difficult times. And he's always doing that with us if you believe in, in, in him and what Jesus did for us, that he died on the cross for our sins. He had to come into this world to die on the cross for our sins so that we can have eternity with God. So if you don't believe in God, that's okay too. I'm definitely not here to force anything on anybody. Um, I'm really not, but I just hope that this message might kind of stay in your heart and if you go through a difficult time one day in the future you'll come back and remember wow I remember what she said you know and maybe and maybe that will give you hope because uh, I really believe God came into this world to give us hope he gave he gave us um, peace that we can have by knowing what Jesus did for us and that our time and focus isn't about so much what's going on in this world. It's the eternity. It's what we're going to have beyond this life. That's where we keep our focus. It's not here. It's out there one day when we pass away. And that's what I look forward to. And that's what I know one day I will see my loved ones in heaven. And that is my hope. And that is that fills me up where I can continue to um, enjoy my um, my life here, you know, knowing that I'll see my sister now in heaven, my parents, all my loved ones. So anyways, I hope I didn't ravel on too much. I don't know, sometimes I just think in such a world like that's just so full of trouble right now and turbulence, uh, people are losing their hope. They really are. They're losing um, positivity. They're focusing too much on the negativity going on and around them and in the world. So I just wanted to give that message of hope to anybody who might be struggling. 
All right, so with that in mind, I love you all, and uh, I will see you in 2023.